All right, it's Antlion Alpha, and I just realized that stop signs are in all caps. And also, welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Tui, or let's start this Let's Play. So, here we are. It is Banjo Tui, and there's not much to see in the introduction, so we're just gonna go to a pause. I started on a Kazooie file. We're gonna do a banjo. So here we go. I was debating showing this introduction and just uh, getting into the gameplay, but uh, I've had people tell me from Banjo Kazooie that they that that was the first they'd seen of the game. So I guess it would be best to uh, show the whole introduction. So here we are. We see our spiral mountain. It has not changed too much. We just we we remember that rock. Klungo's a pushing away. There he goes. Humph, humph, gurn. That's what I do when I push rocks. With a two humps there and a one gurn here. And you can't shift the rock. No, you can't. You better shift that rock if you want a new if you want the villain to come back. Gurn humph humph. Hey, those are out of order. That's not how you push a rock. Do it proper. Alright. Coo coo, says the clock. Kazoo, says the kazooie. And Mumbo. We're playing a. Uh, I don't know, I'm not too familiar with card games. It's blackjack, I think. If they're doing, like, blackjacks are in. No, uh. Is, are blackjacks the one where they have full house? I don't know. Anyway. You may notice that Mumbo's uh, head sprite for where, when he's talking is changed again. It's made more solid, more polished, I guess. And so Kazooie tricked them into thinking cause, uh, Gruntilda's back. But now he's gonna turn into... Well, no, Kazooie's not gonna be the boy who... Or the girl who cried wolf because she's not going to get punished. It's going to be some other character that's going to get punished for Kazooie's making other people believe that they, he was telling that she was telling the truth the first time. But anyway, we get rocks crumbling. I don't believe this rock pile was here in the last game, so we just get to see it there. It's a drill. We're drilling to this game. We're gonna drill into an action, and there's an ace. These are good, pretty, pretty well rendered cards, I must say. The sprites are nice. I mean, the cards themselves are polygons, but we got good texture on it. Perhaps one of us should go, go, go to take a look, look outside. That will be good, Mr. Earthquake Vocabulary. I mean, I'm sure that's not causing... I would assume that that's just causing, like, a bunch of loud noise. I mean... Normally only an earthquake causes an earthquake, so... It's, it's my... theory. So this thing has a large tool dose. And out of the green... I don't know how they breathe in all that green gas in there, I mean... I'm sure it's not just for ominous purposes, I mean, I'm sure the gas must just be some sort of... a malfunction, right? I mean, why would they just create gas just for... to be... witch-like? Anyway... Come on out, Blah Belda. I don't know why you had to tackle your sister. I mean, it didn't look like you tripped on anything, so... That was a little uncalled for. Get off me, you must. Or move like or not. So we've got... In, we've got out of order words. It stopped. The shaking. It's over. We can 
forget about all of the bad things. How brave are you, Mumbo? How tough are you? Kazooie, don't you... Don't you go digging on his Mumbo's gold. Don't you dig other people's gold. Oh, Kazooie, we still got the fungi forest picture in the background. What did you do, Mumbo? What could you possibly do to stop these witches? You need an you need a Mumbo pad to do that. Oh, but we don't know what the Mumbo pad is yet, do we? And we got walking on and a yawn and a cat in your arms. I remember the cat being cuter, but it's not that cute. Should not. Should, I, the the actual text in the book is the exact same as in her dialogue, which is just really good attention to detail for that much. And so we're gonna crumble this thing, aren't we? No, we don't even crumble it. Oh, it just made the rock really small. Did you see the tiny little rock fall back in the hole? The rock's not gone, it's just small. I mean, the big... Its bigness is gone. And we got a bony hag! Oh, look at that! Uh. Uh, she's... But that's not right. That's not science. I mean, seriously. She's still fat, and your ribs don't expand when you're fat. Just your fat expands. I mean, I'm assuming so. I mean, I'm... Oh. 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 What's he... Oh, that, yeah, at least brush it off. A cat has two different colored eyes. Which, you know, can actually happen for real cats. Okay, good, you're wiping it off. At least you're somewhat hygienic after two years of decomposing. And it's kind of brutal, I mean, just starving to death under a rock. Way to go, Rare. Your graphic death scene. Even though we didn't really see it. Uh-oh. Mumbo, we need you. We need you. You're a vital part of this game, Mumbo. Don't die. Don't die, I mean... I mean, you could die, and then the game would erase. Or the game wouldn't work right, and we wouldn't be able to get all the jiggies, but... I mean, we need you! Stop yawning! It's hard trying to, like, stop a yawn. It's always like... It's always like you're biting on something invisible when you're trying to, like, close your mouth in the middle of a yawn. Everyone, gasp, must run. Pant, quick, grunty, coming. Oh, but who's not gonna believe him? Which one of us is gonna go down in the Grunty Fury? It's gonna be someone. Ah, get that green, green stuff. Ah, little burpiness. Yeah, yeah, school board. I bet you do heads. That'd be cool if Grunty had two heads. That'd that'd come up into the gameplay. That'd have been actually funny if they if she did have two heads. Like there's. I don't know how they'd explain that in the dialogue in that short a time, but if she did have two legs and Mom was like, yes, actually, she do have two legs. Or two heads. Not two legs. Did I say legs earlier? Uh-oh. Bottles, what's happening? What are you gonna do? Hurry, you must. Ready to leave. We are. It's a sentence scramble. Hold on, sis, I'm almost there. I've just been to blast that bear. Troops! We believe! Destroy it, re! If they will! We get new enemies in this game. None of the enemies in this game go. Like a lot of the enemies in the last game. So we're just gonna keep on going. Oh, by the way, I should mention, uh, I'm not fully partnered yet with YouTube. I know I said I'd start Banjo-Tooie when I became partnered, but, uh, you know, I, I got the 
confirmation of the application last week, and I signed the contract. So I just figured I shouldn't put it off too much. I mean, I'm, it's going to happen, so I might as well be going to start anyway. Let's see what happens. That looks like a Donkey Kong 64 type of transition from, like, uh, Fungi Forest. And the music kind of sounds like Fungi Forest music, too. Oh, no. Mumbo, you don't even have any skin on your head. How does it hurt? Well, apparently you're wearing a mask, but we never get to see you with your mask off. Is everyone alright? Bottles, come back. Where's Goggle Boy? Well, where is he? No. No. No, you know, wake up, Bottles. What's gonna happen? What? Whoa! Is that a ghost? <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I need to pause the recording. Pretty soon. So I can save the file. And be done with here. Okay. I can't pay attention to the dialogue. My eyes are watering from that cough. And then I just do some more. Alright. We'll get going. Sigh, I have a feeling it's not going to be so easy this time. It's not going to be that much harder, really, in all honesty. This game's challenge isn't all that ramped up. But it is a longer game. Alright, let's pause recording. Okay. Yeah, you can talk to Bottle's ghost, right? Hurry up. Well, I think if you go to his mole hills, he'll, like, re-teach you the moves that you learned the last game, but you've got them all with you. You can do the Kazooie walk, talent trot. Oh no, your fish! Your fish! I'm getting your fish! I can't break the rock! I gotta break the rock! I gotta save my fish! No! He's gonna be... He can't survive another, like two worlds and n unlocking new moves just to get him. There's no way he'll be alive right then. That'll be game... gaming fallacy. Not that I actually know what fallacy means in its fullest, but... I like shouting out words. Alright, so yeah, I've got this hole. No... No collie wobbles. There, I don't think there's really any enemies from the last game. Yeah, we got these little things that look like Klungo's head with arms and legs. And yeah, so my the thumbnail of of this video is probably gonna be like the same as like every other Let's Play out out there because I showed the introduction. I have seen a couple Let's Plays where they skip the intro and. Something in one of these, right? No, not not these ones. Well, anyway, you can go in Grunty's hole. Nothing much. This must have been really cramped in here if it's like the just the exact size of her body. So anyway, Spiral Mountain. Uh, well, I assume this is like the actual Spiral Mountain. This mountain. Yeah, I guess I can't. Oh yeah, that's right. We can't. There's a move you have to unlock to actually do that, but anyway. Yeah, there's none of the... Where's the sticky stuff? It, it doesn't get sticky. It doesn't make the sticky sound on here anymore, I don't know why. But yeah, you can go over here. Yeah, there's another flight put over here, so I'll show you right quick in here. What's up? Uh-huh. We're going in the little tunnel, and here we are in Grunty's lair. Or I kind of spoiled it, but, I mean, you, you saw the last game. Anyway. Even got the original music, which is really cool. It's just so ominous being able to come here but not see the rest of the game. It's like... It just makes you wonder. It's fueled speculation for the whole stop and swap thing, which... I'll talk about the stop and swap and what they, like, compensated for in this game when the time comes, but... Yeah, it's not much you can do in here. This is where you talk to Cheeto... And, oh, whoops, I kind of skipped his dialogue. Oh, well, yeah, he wants you to get Cheeto pages, and 
That's another. That's a new collectible in this game, and actually, actually, I'll go ahead and show one right now. There should be one just around here, right? Uh, get out of the teeth. Get out of the mouth, man. Don't want you in a mouth. Uh, not up there. That's a tunnel that you'll go to later for another item. And oh, uh, there's the running shoes. And there's another. There's that grating thing up there that we'll be getting later for an item. Uh, it should be right here. Yes. Oh, we didn't even need the flight pad. We just do the whole big leap up there. The lemur pads, which don't look like lemur pads anymore in this game. They just look like bird feet. So we need five for each cheat, and I think there's 25 of total in the game. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, with the emulator, there's those transitions every time you do something. So anyway, we will go into the next area in the next episode, so... Hopefully you're enjoying this so far, and you're enjoying a grand pound! No, let me pound you. Let me pound you. I said let me pound you. There we go. All right. So next episode in there, all in there. So thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bing bang goodbye.